Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Phrasal Verb Quiz Part 29. In this video, you must choose the correct word to complete the phrasal verb in each question. You may need to pause the video at each question to think of your answers. Are you ready again? Okay, here we go. Number one. And the answer is, I was banking on my uncle helping me fix my car yesterday, but he couldn't make it, so I had to do it myself. All right, if you bank on something, it means that you place trust in someone or something, or let's say you rely on them, like going to the bank, some kind of a safe thing. And in our example here, the person was banking on or relying on his uncle. To help him fix his car and he and his uncle didn't show up. All right, number two. And the answer is, I was surprised when my son brought his new girlfriend over to our house last night for dinner. Okay, if you bring someone or something over to, let's say, another place, you just move something or someone from one place to another. We just say to go over. That's what we mean. In this case, it means to visit, right? The person brought his girlfriend to their, the family house. He brought her over to her house. That's what we say, all right? Very common idiom. All right, number three. And the answer is, I couldn't believe how many parts they cut out of the movie I saw last night. They ruined the movie, so I recommend reading the book instead. All right, in this particular example, they cut out something. It just means that they remove something. And this is used a lot when we're talking about maybe a movie or even a story. If they cut out certain parts of it, they remove it. And that's what happened in our example. They cut out scenes or parts from the movie and the person didn't like it because it wasn't like the book. All right, number four. And the answer is, the medicine my doctor gave me was stronger than I thought because it knocked me out for about five hours. Now to be knocked out, like in the, our example here, it means to be put to sleep, all right? Maybe not so much that the person's unconscious, but in this case, if something knocks you out, maybe you're very makes you very, very tired and you go to sleep, and that's what happened here. The medicine was very, very strong, so it, it knocked the person out. It, it put the person to sleep. That's really what it means. All right, number five. And the answer is, I have to remove some of the songs I downloaded because they ate up too much space on my hard drive. In this example, to eat up something, it means to take space. That's exactly what it means because in our example, the songs the person downloaded were, let's say there was many of, the, of these songs. So they took up too much space. They ate up too much space on his hard drive. All right. All right, number six. And the answer is, business fell off dramatically after the holiday season. In this example, business fell off or it declined. So if something falls off, like in this case, the holiday during the holiday season, maybe they were very busy. As soon as it ended, business declined or diminished, and that's what to fall off means. Got it? All right, number seven. And the answer is, the rental cottages in my hometown fill up very quickly right before summer vacation every year. In this example, to be filled up means to be occupied. It means that the rental cottages are occupied, they're full before the summer vacation season. All right, that's what to fill up means in this particular case. All right, to be occupied. So there's no more room. All right, number eight. 
And the answer is, people are still floating around the idea that aliens are currently living on Mars. All right, if something is floating around, like in this case, it's just when something is discussed by many people. Let's say that it's, there's a word we use, it's circulating. And in our example, this idea was circulating. It was floating around, okay? This idea about the aliens being on Mars. All right, number nine. And the answer is, I got ahead at work because I worked on my current project during the weekend. To get ahead of something, like in our example here, it just simply means that you're in a better position. You had done all your work, and now you're free to do something else because you're ahead of things. You're in front of any job that's expected of you. And that's exactly what happened in our example here. The person worked on the weekend to get ahead, as we say. All right. Okay, the final question, number 10. And the answer is, her dog went after my cat yesterday, but it couldn't catch it because it climbed a tree in my backyard. To go after something, like in this particular example, just means to chase. That's what it means, to go after. And that's what the dog did here, chased the cat, and the cat escaped by climbing the tree. That's all for this video. Please tell me how you did on the quiz in the comment section below. Thanks again for subscribing, everyone. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.